Valerie Lareda, who's being put on such a pedestal and she's being very pr promoted by the promotion. I mean, what was your mindset coming into this fight as the outsider? Honestly, like, I mean, I knew win or lose, it was an amazing opportunity, but I thought I did have an advantage, honestly. Like, I try to be humble, but I, I, I'm trying to be honest, too. Like, I felt like, you know, I was going to win. Um, I felt like I was a, a strong enough grappler where I can get the fight and wrestler where I can get the fight wherever I wanted it to be. Despite the betting odds, so listening to you say that, you didn't really struggle with your confidence. You, you felt like the odds were wrong. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I guess, what was your game plan coming into the fight? You were dragging it to the mat over and over and over again. Was that what you came in and thought you were going to do? Say that one more time. Uh, what was your game plan coming into the fight? You were, when you were in there, you kept taking her down over and over again. Is yeah. that what you thought it would, would happen when you got in there? Honestly, yeah, that's kind of where I go. I did feel like I've grown in my striking so much, um, but it's always had to catch up to my grappling. So I knew at the end of the day I can always, like, depend on that. I didn't want to just depend on that. I wanted to get some good shots in, and I actually felt like I landed pretty well um, a few times, and I kind of saw – it was weird because in this fight, I felt like I could see when the punches were coming and I was able to defend a little bit better than in the past. Um, so in that way, I think my striking has really grown. So I'm just really proud of myself right now, <laughs> either way. <laughs> a couple of those submissions, the arm bars, it looked like uh, you had a pretty good torque on them. Were you surprised that, that she was able to survive and not tap? Yeah, she was doing a good job of um, turning her arm. So I felt like, um, you know, she has been, really been working defense and she did a really good job defending all that. I can't even say anything about that. She just, she did really good defending everything. <laughs> I thought I had her with the mounted triangle. Um, I was about to come over in the mount, um, pull her into guard, sorry. And, uh, and then her head just slipped out. So she did really good with that. What do you think's next for you? Do you hope Bellator keeps you around for a few more? Yeah, if they want to keep me, I'm totally down. You know, I, I love the sport. I love fighting. So just you guys have treated me really well. So I hope to come back and fight again. All right, we're going to take a couple more here. Darren? Thank you for having me. Congratulations on your victory, Hannah. When you have a big victory like that, part A, what is the celebration process like? And part B, how long do you wait before you start training again? I never take a break from training. I'm going to answer the second question first. Um, I never take a day off. I absolutely love training. I breathe training. Um, you know, striking, some days I hate it. Some days I love it. <laughs> um, but grappling, I'll do if I have a hurt arm, if I have whatever. Like, I'm always doing jiu-jitsu. I can't really go a day without that. But I love the sport in general. Um, the first question about celebrating um, I usually, I've already made plans to go get a big ass pizza and some beers and ice cream. So that's kind of the celebration from there. <laughs> Gabriel. Hey Hannah, two questions. Congratulations. Uh, to put it bluntly, we know how popular Valerie Lareda is. Were her fans, you know, messaging you and, you know, giving you a hard time and how satisfying is it to get the victory in that way? Yeah, I mean, it's it's pretty satisfying. I'm not that type of person where I'm just like, oh, like, suck it, whatever, you're wrong. But I literally had 100 message requests, which doesn't happen on Instagram very often. Um, and I just took a quick look, like, kind of skimmed it. And, yeah, there was a lot of hateful stuff in there. So I'm just like, I'm going to wait to read this later. I'm not going to worry about this right now. Um, so I was still just sitting in there. So yeah, definitely on Instagram, which I expected a lot of hate, but I also have a lot of support. So I was definitely paying more attention to all the support I have for sure. You two are both obviously very early in your professional careers. And a lot of people talked about the growing experience for yourself. How do, what do you take away in terms of, Hey, you know, maybe work on this a little bit. So I'm better the next time out. Yeah, I can always be better in everything. Um, you know, my striking has always had to catch up to my grappling. I just caught on to that faster. Um, so just working on everything as usual, another day in the office. But, um, you know, definitely taking my striking more seriously. I did 
I've kind of been on and off for a year, but when I decided I was going to take a fight, I really started hard um, back in January again. You know, I've never taken time off, but really like multiple times a day if I need to, but just getting my striking where I need it to be for my next fight. And I think it paid off for sure. Sean? Uh, congratulations, Hannah, on the big win. Uh, my question for you is tonight, not only special because you were able to beat Valerie, she was undefeated, but do you feel like you avenged a win against her gym, AT, uh, America top team, Castella Racho? She gave you your first professional loss. Yeah. Uh, so what's the question? I'm sorry. Do you feel that way, that, that, you, that this is uh, special because you were able to get a win over her, um, not, you know, not only getting a win over her, but the fact that avenging a loss that her teammate gave you over her gym? Um, yeah, I'm not sure if I'm answering the question correctly, but it did, um, feel good to like beat someone from ATT since I lost the last time for sure. Um, Kayla is super tough. I, I think the main issue in that fight was my mindset, honestly, not trying to call her out or anything, but I think if we fought again, I would, um, definitely have a little bit dif different performance. Um, but yeah, it definitely felt good to. Not only, I don't really look at wins or losses, but I look at my performance, and I felt like I performed very well tonight, and I can't really complain on that. Hopefully that answered your question. Chris? Anna, Chris Connor here from Last Call on Blue Wire Hustle Network. Congratulations. Brilliant performance. Thank you. Take me back to the third round. It's, it's basically a tied fight in a lot of people's mind, and you go for a bit of a risky move. You just bull rush her, try to take her down. What did you see? Like, it seems like you were just going, all right, you know what? She can't hurt me. She looks tired. What were you seeing that made you go, all right, I'm just going to go for it, you know, bull rush in and just try to win the rest of the round? Yeah, I could hear my coach screaming, honestly. And when he really screams, I know, like, I got to do something. So that usually means a takedown, put them on their back, and, like, go for something. So, um, yeah. I'm not yep. sure if that answered your question. Dylan. Hey there, Hannah. Appreciate the time. Thank you. I appreciate y'all. <laughs> I'm just noticing the birthday post there a couple weeks back, and you got the hard-earned victory here. I'm just wondering how sweet this moment feels and what you got planned for the celebration there. Yeah. Um, just I love food, so definitely going to celebrate with that for sure. Um, but I had a great birthday, even though I couldn't, you know, enjoy it, but I knew I had a sweet return on that and I was just thankful for the opportunity. So it doesn't really matter if it's Christmas, Thanksgiving, whatever, um, an opportunity like this, I can't pass up and I love this more than food. So it was definitely worth it, but yeah, I'm definitely going to celebrate hard after this. Mark. Uh, congratulations on the win, Hannah. What was what was your mindset going in? Obviously, you were the underdog here. Did you kind of appreciate kind of being the underdog going into this fight? What was the question? I'm sorry. Did you kind of did you um did you like being the underdog coming into this fight? Yeah, kind of. Um, because I like shocking people, and um, sometimes if you're the favorite, it can be a lot of pressure. Um, and I felt like Valerie probably felt that. I'm sure. Um, you know, pressure is hard to deal with as far as, you know, the crowd and fans go, but, um, you know, under it all, you don't really have anything to lose. And I kind of saw it that way. Like I had an amazing opportunity. All I can do is get out there and perform as well as I could. Um, and if I do really great, then it's a shock and, you know, people are upset about it in a good or bad way. Um, you know, I gave Valerie her first loss, so that's a little sweet. I can't lie. <laughs> um, but I know she's going to come back stronger from it. And, um, you know, it's amazing that she has such a, you know, great following on Instagram and has built her, you know, her way that way. So she'll have many opportunities, and I'm sure she'll continue, you know, fighting and doing great. So I just am thankful for the opportunity. Tom? Hey, Hannah, thank you very much for your time. This is Tom from MMA UK. You know, congratulations on your hard fought victory and, you know, well done on defeating an undefeated fighter. You know, how does it feel getting a big win for your Bellator debut? It feels amazing. Honestly, my, my coach um, thought I lost the first round. Um, 
So we went in there and I just fought as hard as I could. Um, and at the end of the day, that's all that really matters. Um, that I'm just fighting as hard as I can. I'm putting a hundred percent. I felt like I did that. So this wins really sweet. Just all in all with that. Jeff. Jeff Brantley here with the man in the cage podcast. Congrats, Hannah. You had a lot of success against Valerie with your arm bar and attacking her arm. Was that something you came into the fight looking for? Or was it just something mid fight? You noticed that you could really attack her with that arm bar. Yeah, I just, if I see a limb, I go for it. So, um, you know, arm bars are my strong suit or chokes. Um, but I love grappling. And so that's usually where I try to take the fight. And, uh, yeah, the arms were just there, so I just kept going for him. Andrew? Yeah, Hannah, congratulations on an absolutely incredible victory tonight. Uh, quick question for you. Now, obviously, the odds makers uh, in this, and when it comes to the betting side of things, she was a minus 600 favorite, and you were the 435 underdog. How damn good does it feel to uh, almost silence the critics, if you will? Feels really good, not gonna lie. <laughs> Um, you know, I, I honestly love being the underdog and just, you really have nothing to lose in that, um, in that way, you know, when you're the favorite, like I said before, you have all this pressure and it can be overwhelming. Um, so I was kind of happy when I saw I was the underdog and I kind of figured it already. Um, but yeah, it does feel good to kind of, um, you know, uh, shock everybody with that. All right. We'll take a couple more here. Maria. Well, Maria Morales with Throwing Bows Podcast. First and foremost, congratulations on a great victory. I wanted to ask you specifically, um, you know, you made, you, you made an attempt at the arm bar several times. Were you surprised that she kept finding a way to get out of the submission? Yeah, she really surprised me um, on the ground. Um, you know, she's apparently been working her defense. And, you know, we weren't even sure what her jiu-jitsu was like. Um, just because I did watch a couple of her tapes, which I never do. Um, usually it's just unnecessary stress, so I let my coach take care of it. Um, but he thought I would actually feel better if I watched the tapes, and I did. Um, but I honestly didn't know how her ground game would be. I assumed it wasn't as good as her striking just because she did keep it on the feet. Um, but, yeah, she did an amazing job with the arm bar attempts, and uh, I was really impressed by that. Uh, and one more for me. Prior to the fight, uh, Valerie had been uh, talking a lot about working on her wrestling and that she would come into this fight and, and really try to shock the world with her wrestling. Um, did you know that? Because it seems like you didn't hesitate to shoot in on her at all. Yeah, I'm not going to anyways. <laughs> Just, I mean, I always assume any opponent I'm going against is working on their wrestling and their grappling just because... If you've seen any of my fights, you know I'm going to try to wrestle you. You know I'm going to try to put you on the wall. You know I'm going to try to take it to the ground. So her coaches would have been silly not to work on it. Um, and so, but that's not going to stop me from doing, you know, what I do best, if that makes sense. Roz? Hi, Anna. How are you doing? I'm great. <laughs> how are you? <laughs> Congratulations on tonight. Thank you. So um, just kind of, you know, uh, you were going through a couple of the rounds and obviously it was a crazy fight. Um, it was on the ground and was standing. Very entertaining for us, the fans and the media. So can you just please elaborate a bit more, kind of like what was going through your head? You know, you had a couple of submission attempts, didn't go through. Then she was kind of successful herself in some areas and some parts of the fight. So can you just elaborate a bit more on that and kind of moving forward, what are your key takeaways from this fight? Yeah, um, I think she's used to, you know, she's had a lot of like TKOs and KOs. Um, so she was probably expecting that tonight. But um, I've always been known for like my toughness and you know, I have a super strong chin, so I'm not going to go down super easy. I am not saying that nobody can knock me out at all. But um, I think she probably was surprised that she couldn't get me on the feet. Um, but that is my strong suit, and that's what I live by is just my toughness. Um, and so I think she did a great job um, trying to explode quickly 
uh, when I put her on the cage. She did a really good job of that because normally um, I can keep somebody on the cage and kind of put my will on them from there. Um, and she did an amazing job slipping out of things and her defense um, was really good. You can tell she has a good team. Harry? Hey, Hannah. Harry Mack from the Bookies Basement. Congratulations on the big win. Thank you. So uh, Valerie was the number eight ranked fighter in the flyweight division. So are, are you expecting uh, a number next to your name on Monday? I didn't hear the end of that. I'm sorry. I'm so, uh, do you think that you'll be uh, ranked on Monday when uh, the rankings update? I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Congratulations. Thank you. Michael? Hey, Hannah. Congratulations on your incredible victory tonight. Uh, there's a pretty interesting, uh, this was a pretty interesting fight because you were pursuing to finish the fight, you know, from the first round. Uh, you had multiple submission attempts, and this looked like it was about to enter the first round. Uh, my question for you is, Valerie, you know, she was uh, avoiding that submission, and she managed to end the fight, and that fight was, you know, an unanimous decision. Uh, how do you manage to put yourself in the mental place to avoid getting frustrated and continue pursuing you know, the end of that fight until it ended? Um, <clears throat> it was kind of hard to hear that. I'm going to ask you to repeat that one more time. I'm sorry. Oh, no worries. Uh, how complicated it was to put yourself in the mental place uh, to be, you know, to keep concentrating uh, and avoid getting frustrated by Valerie escaping all the submission attempts you, you made during the fight? Yeah, I... I wasn't frustrated. I was honestly just impressed. Um, it does suck not to get a finish and leave it to the judges. Um, so that was the only thing I was kind of sad about. But I was honestly just impressed the whole time. Um, and, you know, she was just defending super well. Um, so I just tried to go one after the other, keep it where I wanted to, which was the ground. So I tried to, you know, transition. If I felt like I was losing something, transition to the next. I tried not to get too attached to one thing or the other um and I may have held on to some things too long um but yeah honestly I just I gotta give her credit for the defense that was really good um so yeah one or two more Ronald this is Ronald E. Smith from Getting Real congratulations Hannah on a big victory thank you <laughs> And just like everyone said before, Valerie was the one that more people were talking with and you were just unknown of the unknown. But you came out with the win. Now everyone, everyone's talking about you. So in that moment, how does it feel now the, 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 from being one of being the ignored to be now known as the one and a guy of the win? At the end of the day, unknown fans don't really matter to me. Um, you know, it's great to have people love you and um, root for you. But at the end of the day, I know my family at home and my, my gym is proud of me no matter what. And they've proved that over and over again. Um, so I'm just going to go celebrate with the people that love me no matter what. And, uh, you know, I'm thankful if I've earned a few more fans tonight. It's always great. But at the end of the day, you know, I know my family back home and my coaches, my teammates, um, let me no matter what, and I'm sure they'll, they're celebrating pretty hard right now. I'm super proud, so I'm thankful for that. And our last question here comes from the line of the Empire Universe podcast. Hello, Hannah. This is Luke from Empire Universe podcast. Hey, how are you? <laughs> I'm good, thanks. Uh, first, uh, congrats on the win. Um, you know, sometimes some fighters, when they get into a, no into a new organization, there's some nerves that come into play. Did that have any effect on you in this fight? Honestly, no. It was just kind of weird to see, like, my likes go up and all that stuff on social media. You know, I honestly hate social media. I have to, like, be conscious about posting and things like that. Um, and honestly, it was kind of unbelievable until I got in a cage just now that I had such a, an amazing opportunity. Um, but it's been a great experience all week, and... You know, whether y'all want me back or not, it was just awesome, and I really enjoyed it. Definitely going to keep fighting. So, you know, if y'all do want me, then that's great, um, if Bellator still wants me. But, um, but yeah, it, it's been a great experience and kind of – it's believable now, but it's been unbelievable up to this point. You know, it didn't really sink in until I got here. Thank you.